Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to your horoscope forecast for will this be new love or is it going to be extra turns? And it's going to be the timing of the next three months. So, my beautiful darlings, uh, thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkers.com, or check out the description box below. All right, my beautiful darlings. Let's jump right in. So what are we gonna talk about today? We're gonna to first talk about, are you gonna have new love coming up in the next three months? Or are you gonna have X returns? Are you gonna have both, okay? So, if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, I'm gonna cut down the shuffling a little bit, all right, for you guys. So, I'm gonna make it as extensive as possible. So let's jump right in. So does Aries have huge potential for new love in the next three months? Show me the cards I need to see. One of the cards wanted to fly out. Let's see what that card was. Ending of a tough cycle. Okay. Does Aries have huge potential for new love in the next three months? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to Okay, so what I'm going to do is to cut down on the shuffling, okay? We're just going to use the deck that we have. Um, so, I, if I want to clarify, I'll clarify further. So, I'm going to lay down four cards for the five that I'm going to put out here. You're going to see. It's going to give you a lot of information, too. All right. But it will cut down on the shuffling, and we can get a lot of information out of this. Okay, so... So you know I like to be clear cut. All right. So give me a moment. Let me just get all the cards out. And then I'm going to go over, over each section and then bring it together as a whole. And I'll clarify where I need to clarify it. Okay? Okay. I have certain spread positions. I'll talk about what those positions are if you're new here. All right. One more. Okay. Okay. Someone said, maybe I'm a different person. So I feel like what this, what somebody is saying here is that this person who may be coming in or you may be dealing with may be different from your usual type and expectations, okay? So let's see what that's about. Now the current, the current is the now Aries, okay? So it's, it's either just started to happen or it's about to happen. Okay, so let's find out what's going on in the current for you guys. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, so a lot of you guys will ask me, why do I turn the cards this way, right? If they're turned upside down, why am I not reading reversals? Okay, let's cover it right now. So, because I know you guys come to me in the comments about it. Um, I've been reading Tarot since I've been 14 years old, and I have had teachers who had been reading Tarot for many years, 30, 40 years, okay? So, and what they had told me was that reversals were a new technique, okay, that was done in the 1970s or because of the Rider Waite system. Uh, the older decks, if you look at the Marseille deck, there is no up and down. It's just like a playing card, right? It's a scene, either way. And if you go and research some of the older books on Tarot, you will see that there is only one definition. Now, uh, one, 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 uh, one way of reading, so just like the other card systems. So um, Lenormand, you don't, you don't flip the card around, okay? Gypsy, you don't flip the card around. So this was a new concept. Just, and if you guys would like to take my class in Tarot, all the information is in the description box below. How you read cards from my teachers. Now, I understand everyone has their own method of reading, so I'm not going to knock on anyone that does read reversals. It's just that I learned how to do it the old way, the, the old style way of, of reading Tarot. Okay, so you would read the card next to it, okay? So you would read it just like you would read a book, okay? So it's saying, man, you're so attractive, so sexy, so attractive. There's going to be this major change. And the change is spiritual in nature coming up for you guys. This change here that's coming up is going to bring some kind of good news for you guys. Page of Pentacles. Pentacles have to do with money, family, children, long-term. 
And also, this could show two different people here, okay? Because people cards do represent people. You could be in the current or coming up in Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, but you can see in the current, there is going to be major changes, major transformational changes for you guys, which is gonna bring a lot of optimism here with the star card energy being next to it because the tower card is a neutral card, okay? It's like a maybe card. It shows, what it shows, the tower card shows a shock and surprise, but depending on what the card is next to it will tell you whether or not the shock is a good shock or a bad shock. So you can see that there's really positive cards around this tower card, which clarifies that this is a good surprise, okay? And it's hopeful, star card energy, and it's spiritual in nature, okay? And it's got good news attached to it, okay? So let's keep going here. Let's also just see exactly what this, what is this big major change here? Let's just ask, why is the tower card here? Why is the tower card here? Why is the tower card here? Show me cards you need to see, show me the cards you need to see. Okay, so there was somebody who wasn't being honest with you about their thoughts. Uh, and this, they're concerned about losing you um, and they felt complacent and stuck. And in this state of despair, they are going to either meet up with you or see you at your house, your home, or some kind of private place. And this meeting will bring a sense of hope here and there is gonna be something romantic about it or someone's gonna be helping with this. Okay, so let's keep moving here. So what is your obstacle or blockage to new love? Because we're just looking at what's gonna happen in the current, right, for your situation. So let's talk about it. All right, so Nine of Pentacles energy shows me some of you guys could be really focused on money or finance, okay? Uh, there could be criticisms of other people. Some of you guys aren't going out, maybe not socializing as much. Um, you could still be getting over some type of heartache or sadness here. Um, you're just not sure if you want to invest the time in anybody with the Seven of Pentacles energy. Okay, so let's see what you've been building for your foundation here. Okay, so you've been building a potential passionate opportunities, needing to defend a position when it comes to other people. Uh, there's been a lot of contemplation about love and there's something about wanting a sense of stability, stableness, or possibly being close to home. Okay, four of wands energy or somebody close to home. Okay, so let's see what happened in the past here. So in the past, I can see that there is this relationship, this soulmate connection, but something happened where somebody was stuck in the middle, like stagnant because of work and finance or money was around this situation, okay, or there was a lack of effort because somebody was like putting themselves in a box. They were kind of going around in circles. I feel like my hands are tied. There's nothing I can do about it when it comes to the situation. I'm stuck in the middle, you know. There was a stagnant energy here when it came to the past connection. So what is your goal here? Your goal, well, we obviously want choices and long-term. And uh, there is this concern about avoiding people who are overanalyzing or avoidance with the Knight of Pentacles energy. Like you want somebody that's really sure what they want in their actions, is really sure about long-term. So, so far, what do we see? There's good news coming up and an investment of time um, and gonna see how things are gonna play out. There's something about this house or home where somebody feels like their hands are tied and they're taking some actions, but they're taking things slow. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy seems to be coming out strongly here. So we got the immediate future Okay, so the immediate future is between the now and the next three months. So let's see here. So we have, bringing it all together here, the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups shows that there is advice being given, okay? Or there is this contemplation about, should I give my heart to this person or not? There's this collaboration going on, more than one person around this. Now it doesn't have to be, um, you know, uh, a third party per se, it could be a family member, it could be a friend, okay? There's a lot of soul searching going on about this situation and not wanting to be naive here. 
Um, also, there could be a contemplation about a work situation, Three of Pentacles energy, and a lot of soul searching about this, but feeling naive or concerned that, you know, there's an age difference here with a Page of Swords or Page of Swords can also talk about, and let's also talk about the fact that the Page of Swords is not the spine card. Page of Swords means new perspective, a new understanding, um, a new way of thinking things. And that's what I felt like when I came into your reading, that there was a person around you that felt that they were there was a difference here between you and them. So some kind of difference. And I'm seeing that here with this Page of Swords. Now it could be age difference, could be religious differences, could be cultural differences. Something about this person you may feel is a little bit outside of your wheelhouse, okay? So subconsciously, okay, you're ready. You're like, okay, I'm, I'm ready to go for this. I'm ready to end this tough cycle, ruination of plans. I want, I'm ready for some big things here. Uh, I'm ready to, I want something to happen fast. <laughs> Okay, you're ready for some actions with love and romance. I see that it's subconsciously Aries, okay. All right, so your influence here, and what is the influence? The influence means, for my new readers out there, the influence means what is influencing this situation to make you make the decisions that you're making or the people around you to make the decisions that they're making. Okay, so let's see what the influence is here for a romantic love life. So again, we see strongly a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy around this. So, so far we got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, Gemini, Libra, Christ energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Okay, so there is somebody around you, Aries, that sees you as the best decision when it comes to long term. Uh, there may have been an ending here or they're ending a, a, a relationship or they're coming out of something here and uh, there is a sense of or concern of being left out in the cold. Um, because there is a, still this rosy colored glasses or a state of confusion about think, how things are going to play out, a lot of uncertainty is the influence. Okay, so now let's see, let's see um, what exactly else is going on here before we get to the answer to our question. Okay, so there's a healing energy here and there's a patience because of somebody from before and somebody who really wants to hold on to this situation and regain their confidence, strength card energy. Okay, so final card here. Yes, you guys have so much potential here. We got the Empress as the first card saying you guys are very attractive, okay? So you could pick who you wanna pick here. Yes, Sun card is definitely coming out here as uh, also a state of happiness, but it does seem like you're just not sure what you want, right? We have four of cups here. And there is also this potential for long-term commitment or marriage here or serious commitment here, okay? As far as new love goes. Okay, so it does show you could and if we look at the signs, because Four Cups says you've got more than one choice, okay? But you're just like, nah, nah, nah. And I really feel like what the problem is, the one person that really would be the person for you may be a bit different from your usual type and expectations here, Aries. So we got a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, okay? We got a Gemini Libra Aquarius energy, and we have a Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy around you, okay? As far as new love goes. Page of Pentacles says there's good news. There is this investment of time, somebody who wants to stick around, we see it could be somebody close to home with the four wands energy. But there's this energy of my hands are tied, I don't wanna keep going around in circles, and there's a lot of overanalyzing because Page of Swords says, new perspective, new understanding, possibly younger energy. There's actions of love being taken here, but a state of confusion and a lack of confidence because possibly you guys may feel like, well, I don't know, I don't know if I'm really interested in them, right? Uh, Empress is the kind of energy of like, I know my value, my worth, right? So Empress is waiting for the right, the right one for them. Okay, so she, she, uh, she's very confident about what she wants. Okay, so, so there is somebody around you for sure that's definitely interested in something long-term, Hierophant, but we see that you're just not sure if you want this and if this would make you happy, Sun card energy. So there is success, happiness, but this person is different from your usual type and expectations. And you uh, are not sure if you want this. Okay, so let's get you guys some advice. Okay. Can I have some advice my Aries for new love, for their highest, best good, for the best possible outcome for them? What action should they take at this time? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so obviously you're, you need to make sure that you're sure what you want. C 
so you can regain your confidence here and not be worried about the situation. There is pride here around this, which could cause some denials here in new love. So I feel like it's showing me for new love for, for you guys coming up, okay? In this situation, you're going to not have to judge a book by its cover, okay? And um, be open and just enjoy the moment and see where this goes. Mm -hmm. Cause there is a little bit of a acceptance here and we see this separation. There could be somebody who's dealing with a situation that like a separation, single and available to pursue. I hear ambulance outside. They could be dealing with something, uh, some kind of urgency, something going on in their life. But this can build into a love situation for you guys. So if you're open to it, okay? So let's see if you have huge potential to reconcile with your ex-love interest in the next three months romantically. Okay, let's find out. I'm gonna do the same thing for the extra turns as I do a new love, just so we can cut down on the shuffling. You guys can let me know if you like it this way or if you like it when I just later. Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so this is going to be uh, six cards here, and I'll talk to you about the different positions of these six cards, okay? Again, I'm just gonna put four down so we can get a lot of information without doing a lot of shuffling. So it can still be clear cut for you guys of what's going on, okay? So bear with me for a second here. Yeah, please let me know if you like it this way or you want me to go back to layering again, we'll just say. Because believe me, spiritually, uh, reading Tarot does take a lot of spiritual energy to do. I'm sure you guys know those re the readers out there. Okay, so, okay, so, oh my goodness, again. Okay, so what happened in the past? Isn't it interesting we got the Tower card coming out? Okay, so past. This is the past from your person's perspective of what happened in the connection. Okay, they uh, had a sense of feeling very overwhelmed and burdened. They made some kind of abrupt decision, Aries. They felt like this friend situation, this hanging out, this having a good time, possibly another person was around this, caused major shocks and surprise and major change in the connection, okay? And if I look at the numbers of this, completion, actions taken, joyful, happy energy, major changes, tower card. Let's just again find out what this tower card is here for you guys, although, the Three of Cups, again, as I said, is next to a positive card, so, all right. What was this major change that happened in the past for Aries' love connection when it came to Aries? Show me cards you need to see, show me cards you need to see. So there was thoughts and plans of reuniting and having a happy outcome here. There was this commitment or obligation which restricted things because of an infringing party or self-doubt. And this, there was a depressive kind of energy here when it came to money and finance, and it was a big surprise. Okay, so let's see now, how does your person feel about you? Let's find out. Okay, so how does your person feel about you? Let's find out. Okay, so your person, Aries, um, feels like they would have a victory in their desires because because chariot is desires, willpower, also could be traveling to you. Magician says that you're their ideal partner. Okay, that's what the magician means. Magician means there's a certain skill set and the skill set is saying, you have everything that I need for a partner, okay? They would have a long-term emotional fulfillment with you. They feel like they would be really happy. They feel like there could be a sense of a solid foundation with you that you feel like home to them with the Four of Wands energy. And they also, well, let's just talk about the Four of Wands. Four of Wands can also represent the human body, so they may also like your body, okay? <laughs> All right, so let's see what their intentions are. Okay, so what are they intending to do? At the moment, they're intending to feel stuck in the middle uh, because there's concerns that you may have a new op offer opportunity. Uh, they want to send you some kind of message, some kind of communication to see if they can get good news and love because they're a little bit trapped in their thoughts about like con concerned about like going around circles or repeating some kind of patterns here. So far, shock and surprise about this house or home and feeling trapped about it. Okay, now what are their potential 
actions towards you? Okay, let's see. They are, and their potential actions coming up could be that they want to defend their position when it comes to other people, uh, especially around a new person when it comes to you. Uh, so what do they call that term, cock blocking? Looks like they want to cock block someone away from you. And they are, their intentions or their actions will be, their actions will be uh, something that will make you happy and will be making you think about them, four of swords. Okay, so let's see what your advice is here. Your advice, Aries, wow. Okay, so this is some good advice. You can make some power moves here to hold on to this situation with this person when the timing is right and even have a long-term commitment, Hierophant card energy, okay. Thoughts, plans, marriage, long-term commitment, okay. So, okay, first card coming out. Do you have huge potential to reconcile with your person? Wow, you could either go with new love or you could go with your, your person here from the past. Star card is out, so as I said, do you have potential for new love or do you have potential for it both? So with you guys, it's both. Okay, so let's see what's going on here, what's happening. So we got the nine of pentacles, okay? We got the six of swords and we got the star card energy. Okay, so um, it looks like someone's getting someone alone here, nine of pentacles energy, and we see dealing with this heartache and sadness. And we see that somebody really wants to fix and heal this situation here. Six of Swords talks about healing and overcoming obstacles or blockages. Star card shows it can be very helpful for a reconciliation. So bring it all together. There's a shock and surprise about this house and home and somebody who feels like their hands are tied. They're thinking and contemplating or long-term plans towards long-term commitment or marriage, which could be hopeful Star card energy, okay? So you can see this is, this is pretty good. So it, only if you guys want to get back with your person, of course, if you had a toxic reason why you guys broke up, so, you know, obviously you need to think about that before going back into a situation like that, okay? So I just want to put that out there, okay? Um, so let me get you guys some advice. Can I have advice from my Aries when it comes to their love connection, their ex-love, the highest, best good for the best possible outcome for them? What should they do? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards they need to see. Okay, so what you guys do should be get ready to receive appreciation. Mm, you may want to be careful about the leading with passion here. Um, just try to get to know each other again and focus on forgiveness at this time. And just be open-hearted and get back to what you love. So. For me, this also speaks of, we often forget and get complacent when we get into relationships with people. We, we, we lack the appreciation for each other as the relationship goes on. Um, we tend to get complacent in that relationship and then as we hurt each other, we lose the trust in, in that person, which is actually what stops us from being open-hearted in loving that person again. So the, the trust has to be rebuilt again, okay? And also, forgiveness needs to happen in the sense of like, okay, this happened, I'm gonna let it go because I'm not gonna get into a fight with you again and bring all these things back up again because obviously then you're gonna go back around the circle and it's a reason why you broke up and it, both people have to be on the same page. And also, you have to treat this relationship like it's a brand new relationship, okay? So everyone has to put their best foot forward and date the person all over again because you know, when you get with somebody, it's like those little cute things when you get with that person and as time goes on, you're like, oh, that's, that's so annoying to me that that person does that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, so you gotta treat this situation just like a brand new connection. Both people have to be on the same page and also you can ask the divine, okay, is this person truly right for me, right? Should I truly move forward with this person? Give me a universe, give me a green light or a red flag when it comes to this person. Okay, so if you're uncertain still, that's what I would say to you guys, or even ask for a dream about the intentions of this person, or you can watch some more of your videos and look up, okay, you know, I, you know, I have true intentions, what do they secretly want to tell you, all those kinds of things. So all up in a bill for you guys, sign right now. All right, my beautiful darlings, of course, you don't have to take my advice if you want to. We all have our own inner guru, our own inner guidance. We have the universe too to give us signs. We are getting signs all the time. So it's just a matter of us being consciously aware of those signs and 
listening to what the universe has to say to you because we're all given little cheat codes. Mm -hmm. We are, because this is a game reality. This is not a real reality, right? This is, this is a fake reality. We're playing this game so we can learn lessons and this is what our soulmates are here for. So my beautiful darlings, if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days and I will see you guys soon.